for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of g plus 5 structural model by using statpro v8a software for the respected uh, irregular shape l shape building structure okay so i was already done the modeling process i was applied the load cases which are related to the dead loading condition live loading condition seismic loading condition as well as the wind loading condition for the building structure so initially i will show you the model in statpro v8a software then after that i will show you what are the load cases that i was consider for the respected building structure okay so for that just i am selecting here as statpro v8a software so this is my building model so initially i will show you this model in rendering view click on the 3d rendering view option so this is a 3d rendering view for the building structure it will be consisting of your respected open space for the parking purpose remaining space for the utility purpose okay so for this building structure i was consider the properties of the material which are related to the hmm. column section of 0.46 cross 0.23 and beam size of 0.35 cross 0.23 and slab thickness will be consisting of 150 mm okay so i was taken the load cases which are related to the seismic loading condition definitions as well as the wind loading condition definition okay so again load cases are considered load combinations uh, and load cases are considered under this dead loading live loading seismic loading as well as the wind loading condition okay so after applying all the load cases we need to analyze the structure go to analysis and print option add your no print close option here go to analyze option run analysis option save option so initially we need to check for the zero errors for the respected building structural model so here my model is checking for the zero errors if you obtain it with zero errors then your considerations as per the uh, problem statement is correct okay so no need to worry about the warnings basically warnings are obtained due to presence of the lower amount of the dimensions of the beams okay and higher amount of the load condition system okay so as per my considerations of the building structure here it was obtained with zero errors and three warning section okay so go to click on the go to post processing mode option click on done option so that it will display the uh, displacement diagram for the building structure under considerations of the live loading condition due to presence of the live loading condition the building will be deflect downward direction here like this again if you want to change the respected load cases to dead loading condition you can directly change here so that it will display the dead loading condition displacement diagram for the building structure in the same process we had to select the uh, seismic loading condition displacement just i am selecting earthquake load in x direction condition this is the displacement of the building under considerations of the earthquake load in x again this is the earthquake load in z condition this is the wind load in x direction and this is the wind load in z direction okay so as per the definition part i was taking the wind load in x direction with a factor 1 as well as the minus 1 factor okay so due to that reason it was not showing any kind of the displacement diagram in both x direction and y direction okay so now we have to see the plate pressure diagram just i am selecting plate pressure apply your stress type will be of absolute pressure click on apply click on okay this is the maximum absolute pressure diagram under considerations of the wind load this is the dead loading condition system okay so again after analysis process is completed we need to see design the structure under is 456 2000 code provisions so for that go to modeling option select the designing option in this it will be consisting of the options related to the steel concrete timber aluminium and shear wall in this only we have to select the concrete section so here i am selecting the current code is as per the is 456 2000 code so select the parameters initially just i am deselecting all the parameters from this parameters we need to pick only the important parameters related to the grade of the concrete grade of the steel and um, uh, minimum bar size and maximum bar size okay just i am selecting fc fy fy main again i am selecting maximum main maximum secondary click on okay option again you can select the defined parameters so as per my consideration just i am taking the grade of the concrete is m30 grade concrete 30000 click on add option fy main section as per this uh, assumption just i am taking 415 grade 415 triple zero click on add option again i am selecting fy section reinforcement which is related to the approximately of uh, 415 triple zero property okay click on add option now i am selecting maximum main option just i am taking 16 mm diameter bar click on add option again i am selecting maximum secondary 12 mm diameter click on add option close option again i am selecting commands option select design beam command click on add design column command click on add take off uh, slab element command click on add take off command click on add option 
So again, after uh, giving the values for the factors, we need to assign those factors to the building. Select FC value by using assign to view, assign option, yes option. Now I am selecting F5 main by using assign to view option, assign option, yes option. Section reinforcement, assign to view, assign yes option. Maximum main option, assign to view, assign yes. Maximum secondary by using assign to view option, assign option, yes option. Select beam option, go to select beams parallel to x direction condition system. Again, I am selecting beams parallel to z direction condition system. Assign to selected beams option, assign option. Again, I am selecting design column. Go to select beams parallel to y condition system. Assign to selected beams, assign yes. Now, I am selecting design element by using assign to view option, assign option, yes option. Again, I am selecting analysis and print, add your no print option, close option, analyze option, run analysis, save option. So, now we have to check for the zero errors for the designing also. Okay. So, if the model is obtained with zero errors, then we can uh, directly show the results which are related to the beam section reinforcement, column section reinforcement and slab section reinforcement for the building. See here my model is obtained with zero errors. Go to posture processing mode option, click on done option. Okay. So, select, uh, deselect the deflection diagram. Just I am selecting the beam cursor option here from this respective property. So, here I am selecting my beam section like this. So, click on the concrete design. So, for this respective concrete design, it will be consisting of seven numbers of 16 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section. Again, it will be consisting of seven numbers of 16 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section as per the considered load cases. Now again, I am selecting this column section, double click on it, click on the concrete design. So as per the consideration, it will be consisting of 12 numbers of the uh, 16 mm diameter bar. AST percentage is 2.28 and AST requirement is 2300 mm square as per the consideration. After seeing the results which are related to the uh, beam section and column section, we need to see the output file, stat output file. Click on the stat output file option, it will load the values which are related to the concrete frame design under considerations of the beam reinforcement design results and column reinforcement design results. In the same process, it will be consisting of the slab amount of the reinforcement details for the respected plate section. It will be consisting of approximately 156 mm square for the respected 1 meter slab section. Okay, this is the longitudinal reinforcement, this is a transverse reinforcement and these are the moment values for the slab. Now, after designing this beam section, column section, slab section, we need to design the uh, foundation design. So, for that, just I am selecting the foundation design here. Select the load cases which are comes under this respected seismic loading condition, wind loading condition, dead load, live load. So, click on include option, click on run stat foundation. The fixed supports of this respected building will be directly imported to stat foundation software. So, initially we need to select the load cases here. So, these are the fixed support we are imported from the stat software. So, select the loads and factors option. Select the generate load combinations option. Select code as Indian standard system. Click on generate load combination. So, that it will generate the load combination for the service load combination. Again, click on load combination option. So, that it will generate the load combination for the ultimate load combination. Now, we have to select the uh, create job option for the respected job setup. Click on create job. Select the job name is foundation F option isolated footing as per the Indian standard code English and assigned to all support condition system. We need to select the load cases which are comes under the 101, 102 generated load combinations like this. Okay, click on include option, click on create job option so that it will create the isolated footing job on the left hand side section. Select the place mark, select the place mark. So, this is the concrete and rebar, cover and soil type, footing and geometry, sliding and over turning, click on design option, click on S option. So, that it will design the isolated footing design for the different types of the foundation section under consideration. So, it will be consisting of different types of the footing here like this. Just I am selecting foundation number 230 approximately. So, it will be consisting of all detail calculation under this respective property. Okay. So, this is the uh, foundation design. So, this is the starting page geometry and this is the detailing for the respective slab section. So, it will be consisting of the reinforcement values here like this. Again, in the same process, you can see the reinforcement values under considerations of the beam section. Okay. So, it will be consisting of the reinforcement of 6 mm diameter by 75 and clear cover will be of 50 mm. Okay. So, this is a J drawing. This is the calculation sheet. So, this is a complete process of analysis and designing of irregular uh, G plus 5 story uh, L shaped building structure by using StatPro VI software. If you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.